Greetings to everybody out there in internet land once again. I am the jazz and blues audio file and this time I'm outdoors and I want to talk to you about a technical technological sorry revolution or technological evolution whichever you prefer and what am I talking about well we're gonna have to go over to my car right here and walk in there and I'll show you just exactly what I'm talking about and uh, this is for people that like to listen to their music on the go so here we go All right, I'm in my car right now, and this is what I want to talk about, portability in music today. If you love to carry around your music with you, and you want to be able to listen to it on a long trip, or just on short commutes around the city where you live, well, there is a technological advancement of recent, relatively recent years, if we want, that makes this really, really fantastic. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this little thing right here, the USB stick. And this, of course, is because of the digital revolution. The digital revolution started with the invention of the compact disc. And then came shortly after, a couple of years later, the MP3, MP3s and all that stuff, MP4s, and then some better, those were lossy formats, and then some better formats came along, such as the FLAC, the ALAC, the ape and etc etc all these lossless audio digital formats which are all transferable to a usb stick and once you transfer them on this most modern cars i would say pretty much from 2010 onwards now come automatically equipped with one of these players that is the radios has a connection point where you can plug in your usb stick with all your music on it and it will show up on the little car screen. All your artists will show up. Your music will show up. Your albums, everything. You can select whatever you want and press play. And there it goes. It starts to play. And you get this wonderful digital high fidelity sound in your car and on the go. What could be better for somebody who wants to carry his music around with him? Well, there's also, of course the portable players out there all those portable digital players if you're just walking around or whatever but if in your you're in your car like i am most of the time uh, especially in the winter days in the summer i can often be on my bike riding around but not in the winter here in canada it gets much 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 too cold to start biking in minus 30 minus 40 below ice freezing cold weather so you're in your car you got your usb usb stick you have your jazz and blues with you hey what could be better <laughs> and here it is i'm going to try and show you here's where it plugs in to my car there's that little plug-in right here where the stick is i've got one stick plugged in there and i've got about 50 or 60 full jazz and blues albums on that one little stick that's a 32 gig stick that one that's plugged in right there and i got that stick for the large amount the huge sum of six dollars and 88 cents on special at my local walmart how about that and what happens here's the screen my little computer screen that shows uh, the artist that's queued up right now it's uh ank crawford as you can possibly see and there's the name of the track that's about to play on a clear day you can see forever and it's from the album underneath says mr blues that's the album title then you've got your track title and then you've got your artist name on top and if i want to start it up right now i just press and voila you've got instantaneous music on the go and as you can see it shows me this is track number 48 of 1577 different pieces of music that I have on this one single USB key now isn't that just fantastic I think it is and you should think so too and you're able to take advantage of this if you're not an anti-digital person if you're 
If you're like a friend of mine who only swears by analog and by vinyl records, well, he refuses to listen to anything else but vinyl. He's a unique, he's a unique phenomenon, I find. <laughs> a very nice guy, but unique phenomenon. Refuses to listen to anything else but vinyl. So, I, so he can't take his music with him. He can't take it to, in his car and listen to it in his car. He, it's impossible. Because in the olden days, of course, you had the uh, opportunity to bring your music with you on either 8-track cartridges or, later on, came the compact cassette. Now, if you're old enough to remember these formats, I don't, I remember, I'm old enough to remember both formats. Now, I never used the 8-track cartridge format because that's a, just a little bit too old for me. It disappeared. It vanished slowly after I was born. Not, not too long after I was born, that format disappeared and was replaced by the compact cassette. But the problem with the compact cassette was that the compact cassette, although it was nice and small, after a while... If you brought a lot of them with you in your car, you would have a serious, serious storage problem. Sometimes they'd end up under the seat. I had a bunch of them packed under my front seat. I had some of them in the middle in my little storage uh, compartment. I had some all over the car, and at one point, well, you reach for them. You can't get them. Uh, they're not easy access. <laughs> it was a whole bunch of problems. Plus, always remember that the tape mechanism is extremely fragile. It's a very, very fragile mechanism. What happened if you were unlucky one day and your tape machine just, uh, your tape began to unravel in your player? Well, then it was goodbye for that uh, piece of music, goodbye for that album. Or you could maybe patch it back together if uh, the damage was not too bad. But sometimes it was so bad that you, could, you couldn't even pull the tape out from the, uh, from the player. It stayed stuck in there. I don't know if you remember those days. I remember those days very well. It wasn't always all that reliable. Then came the CD, of course, and the CD players in the car. But CD players in the car were uh, subject to skipping very often because they were a little less uh, good players than your home players, and they were more sensitive to scratches and uh, imperfection in the discs. So especially if you were burning discs from home, and putting some of your albums on a compact disc, and it was a homemade disc, they would be pretty fragile and pretty prone to skipping and all kinds of other little problems uh, of the like. But now, with this new, fantastic, revolutionary <laughs> format here, this little gadget here, I should say, that you can plug in to most cars today, well... There's no skipping on these things. There's no staying stuck on these things. And there's no storage problem because you know how many of these you can bring along with you? I mean, you could bring 20 of these and put them in your back pocket if you want. And on each and single and every one of these, you can have, depending on the size you select to buy, you can have like 100 full albums on just one of these little USB sticks. You could have hundreds and hundreds of hours on one stick. So it makes portability just a whole new a whole new thing, really. It changes everything. And it's uh, brought to you by the digital revolution. Don't you just love it? <laughs> I love it. Digital's the way to go. Digital is the future. Always remember that. I have nothing against analog. I think analog and vinyl and all that stuff and cassettes and all that for people who love it hey go ahead and it sounds good does it sound good of course it sounds good it, some of them sound marvelously good some of them sound even better sometimes than uh, the digital format not always but sometimes definitely definitely they do but it's past technology it's old technology we've got a lot more reliable and a lot better now so that was my little rant for today. That was my little clip for today. And until the next clip, I just want to remind you. You know what I'm going to remind you. Jazz on. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye-bye.